so you failed. Again. You planned out your entire day where you wake up at 8 a.m., study till 4 p.m., and sleep at 10 p.m. But then you sleep at 3 a.m., wake up at 12 p.m. the next day, so all your plans are ruined again. What? Don't look at me like that. You know it's true. Don't worry, bestie. Here is the perfect study schedule for night owls and some study tips to help you out. I designed a night routine checklist and two night owl timetables for you, so I'll link that in my Instagram bio, so be sure to follow me there. All of the most important study tips are at the last section of the video because I'll be explaining how to maximize productivity during your peak focus period and preparations you can do at night to make the next day easier for you. So you don't feel like a zombie. First, you need to understand this. This is what your energy level will most probably look like as a night owl. You have a little energy in the morning, then your energy dips in mid-afternoon, then starts to peak from the evening onwards. We have to build a study routine that complements our energy levels, not a routine that fights against it, and that's what we'll be tackling today. So you'll start by waking up at 11am to 12pm on the weekends, or as late as possible on weekdays when you have school. Remember how we have a little bit of energy in the morning? That's called the recovery period. In the recovery period, we should be doing low-level or low-energy tasks that involve creative work or does not require utter focus. So some of the tasks that you can do in the morning before you go to school or an hour after you wake up on the weekends include mind mapping to recap topics you studied the night before, completing simple homework, doing an art project, or replying to emails. The next tip is to minimize your morning routine. School or university usually starts really early, anywhere from 7am to 10am, and since you'll be sleeping very late, in order to get as much sleep as possible, you need to have a very quick morning routine. So the night before, take a shower so that you don't have to do it in the morning, and get all these things ready. I designed this simple night routine checklist for you guys. I'll leave the link to download and print it over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. Even at 20 years old, I still use checklists like these because then I don't have to worry about forgetting to charge my power bank or bring an extra pad during my period. Your end goal is to think and make as little decisions as possible in the morning. It's the same reason why Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, wears the same outfits every day. It's to reduce decision fatigue in the morning. Decision fatigue is the idea that after making many decisions, your ability to make more decisions over the course of a day becomes worse. So it's now around 2 to 3 p.m. You've had your lunch or you're back from school. Now, this is our trough period, which lasts about an hour or two from mid-afternoon to late afternoon. You'll feel tired, groggy, and overall just have really low energy. So what do you do during this period? Nothing. Well, to be more specific, don't do anything that requires you to use your brain. So take a one-hour nap, have a shower, talk to your friends or your dog, Go on social media, exercise, then have an early dinner at around 5 to 6 p.m. Don't feel guilty for taking a break. You need to rest during this period so that you can fully maximize your time when it's your peak productivity period at night. Also, if you're feeling a little bit demotivated right now, then you can watch this really short video titled Designing the Life You Want by Michelle, where she explains how to reflect on your life so far then live with clarity and intention moving forward. Michelle gives you a free 16-page workbook and the video is only 20 minutes long, which is perfect for all of us with attention spans of a goldfish. The exercises that she asks you to do are also very unique, which we all love. For example, in lesson 3, you have to ask yourself, how can I make sure that in 5 years' time, I am extremely unhappy and unsuccessful in life? Or in lesson 5, where Michelle teaches you how to identify the values that mean most to you. 
You can watch this class for free as the first 1,000 of you guys who click the link in my description box will get a free one month trial of the premium membership for Skillshare. If you don't want to watch this video, that's okay as well as Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on everything from entrepreneurship to leadership to art and photography. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So it's now 7 p.m. It's your time to shine. We're going to divide our time into two sections. Wait, this is, this is, this is four, this is two. <laughs> The second section is the most important part of your day, but let's talk about the first section first, studying. Now you want to spend 15 minutes writing a to-do list. Write down everything you want to accomplish. Then narrow it down to three tasks. Simple homework is not part of your to-do list at night. Remember, we've already done our homework in the recovery period in the morning. During your peak period, you should be doing analytical tasks that require a high level of focus. For example, doing mathematics, writing essays, or doing revision for a subject. Anything that requires you to process new information, make decisions, or solve problems. Now, how to focus when studying during this period? I have posted a video on how to focus when studying and stop daydreaming that you can check out here, but there is one other way that you can focus and maximize your productivity at night. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! Divide your total study length with the number of subjects you want to revise. So let's just say you want to study from 7pm till 1am. That's six hours. Since you can most probably only study three subjects in one night, then you have two hours for each subject. Now, here's the thing. Even when you've already finished all your tasks for that subject, if you haven't completed that two hours, continue studying. Do some extra questions or revise your flashcards. Basically, you want to do as much as you can during this period of time when you are the most alert. But of course, take short breaks in between each study sprint. The Pomodoro method is great when you can't focus because it'll help you be more productive. But you are able to focus and be alert during this part of your day, so you want to take full advantage of it. You don't want to keep taking breaks every 25 minutes and then break your train of thought or workflow. Instead of limiting yourself to a specific set of time like 25 minutes in the Pomodoro method, you only rest after you have completed everything. This is called the flow time technique. Check out more replacements or alternatives to popular study tips in my video here. So now it's 1am. This is the second section of the night and the most important part of this video. After studying, it's time to review today and preview tomorrow. For the next hour or so, you're going to review everything that you have learned today. So, if you have written an essay, look back at your essay and see if you can make any improvements. You can also review the chemistry questions that you got wrong or read through the new material that you covered during revision today. Now, this is the most important part you're going to preview what you're going to learn tomorrow. Read the material your teacher will be teaching in your class tomorrow. Then scribble short points about the concept. The most important thing is to have an idea of what will be taught in class. Classes are usually held from the morning till the afternoon, both of which are times where we have the lowest energy level. Remember, we process new information the best at night. So since we'll be sleepy and have a hard time focusing in the morning, having points outlining the chapter for you to refer tomorrow will help a lot. I did this for biology A-levels because all our classes were at 8am. I divided my page into three, where my main points were written in the middle, subtopics on the left, and a section at the bottom for extra points mentioned by the teacher in class. So instead of having to do all of this in the morning in class when we don't have the energy, we can just listen to the teacher and add anything we haven't covered the night before. 
I explain more about my note taking method in my video titled How to Take Notes That Are Fast and Effective that you can check out here. So it's now about 2 to 3 a.m. Time to sleep. Good night. If you have made it this far, comment down below if you prefer to study in the morning or at night. I'll be sure to reply you. 还有两天就是农历新年了。我祝大家新年快乐,身体健康,心想事成。希望疫情快点结束,大家一起加油吧。If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you guys for 340,000 subscribers, and I see you all in my next video. Bye bye!